I grew up in South Australia, uh, in Glenelg, uh, with mum and dad living by the beach with uh, my two younger sisters as well. So could have gone father, son to the crows. Uh, and when that was brought out, that, that couldn't happen. Yeah, it was probably mixed emotions. At the time, it was all a bit of a whirlwind. The whole media hype of, of going number one and moving to Melbourne was a, was a challenge in itself. The club were really good. They, they didn't put any pressure on me to, to play 22 games that year and, and dominate. They just wanted me to enjoy my footy and, and get a bit of a taste of what AFL is all about. And Mark Murphy's probably had a had a big influence on me in my career. He just sort of you know, guided me through the whole situation when I first got to the club. Uh, I share a locker next to him, so um, you know, we're always hanging out and we've become pretty close friends over the last seven years. The club approached me and asked me if I'd like to be the ambassador for the Richard Pratt Cup. It's to raise money for prostate cancer, which unfortunately took the life of Richard. But um, when the club asked me, I was honoured and you know, accepted the role straight away. And I was lucky enough to, to spend a bit of time with him before he passed away. And what, he, what he's done for the, you know, the community, and he, he's just so generous. Everyone at Carlton, you know, players and staff, uh, know, know the legacy. We'll never forget the legacy that Richard Pratt's left at the Carlton Footy Club.